Hey YouTube, I just got my Rad Wagon 4 put together and threw a few accessories on it. I've been searching YouTube, looking for pictures of how folks have accessorized the Rad Wagon 4. With this being such a new bike, I really didn't see a whole lot. So I figured I would post, you know, here's some of the things and that I've accessorized with and maybe it'll give you some ideas as well. So if I start here in the front, I have the Rad Power Bikes bracket with the small basket. Inside that basket is their, basically their small padded cooler. On top, I found these bags that, you know, I was originally gonna have them over the back where the seats are, but like when the kids aren't riding, experiment a little bit, and they actually fit great on the front of the bike if I throw them over the top there. So, you know, I won't carry anything heavy with them, but, you know, throw some jackets in and if you're riding here in the spring in case you get cold. But overall, I mean, it fits nice, looks nice, um, doesn't hit the tires, so that's perfect. One of the handiest things that I've found is this handlebar extender. That'll allow you to put any lights you want, GoPro, etc. So, again, it frees up your handlebars um, on the other side. I also have on the back of the bracket, I mounted a clarion speaker. Um, so you have tunes as you ride. I have the MRI Denver adapter, and, which allows you to put two water bottles, one on each side. As I continue that back to the back of the bike, I have the Cloud9 seat. I have the deckhand with the, with the rear seat pad. Uh, I found these little bags that fit perfectly here in this open area. It's a more of a hard-sided bag versus soft-sided. Um, so again, you can carry, I have a spare tube and some tools in there. Also, I was able to fit a bag clear underneath here as well. Uh, you know, that carries the tool kit and some wrenches. The thing that I am the most excited about though, is you can actually carry a spare battery on the Rad Wagon 4. So what you end up having to do is there's a speed controller here in that where the, where this battery is, you take that speed controller you flip it upside down and mount it on the underside. That opens up this whole crevice and a Rad Power Bikes battery fits right in there. So essentially to get the battery in this hole, you, you take the, the back end here first. That back end goes in first, but you're upside down. You turn it in upside down, put that battery in. Once you get it in that crevice, you flip it over and then you, know, you wanna make sure you pad that. So I got some thick foam padding right there but you know, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's, it's secure. Um, I'll probably put some Velcro straps just to double, just to double secure it. The, on the back here, on the fender, you know, so it's just, it's just barely touching whether I have to have it up at a little bit of an angle um, or I put some padding under there, I'll have to experiment, but overall the battery fits, which is awesome. I have the running boards on the bike. I found a seat, basically a seat with a, a backrest on Walmart. It comes in silver. I ended up painting it black um, to match the bike. It has a seat pad in, the, in this back cushion here. They're more of a cheap material, so I am using the Rad Power Bikes uh, seat that's made for the Rad Wagon 4. There still is enough room underneath to, to screw that in. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I have little uh, rubber bushings. Essentially, that's just so that, you know, if someone's sitting on the back, it doesn't actually bow the seat since there is a little bit of a spacing. You know, the, the, there is a little bit of a hump here, but, you know, that can work out to the advantage too where the person on the front knows that, hey, when I feel that bump, I'm, uh, I know I'm, I'm on my seat versus invading the space of the second passenger. So I bike a lot with kids, and you usually can only travel uh, as far as the youngest one can ride. So what I ended up doing is there's these two large holes right here and I took a Hollywood fork mount and I mounted it to the back of the Rad Wagon 4. And the thought being, I haven't actually tried this yet, but when the youngest gets tired, you pop the front wheel off, you strap it to the front of the bike, and then you mount their fork to the back of the bike and essentially you can trailer their bike as they ride and recharge their energy. My hope is, is that'll give us a little bit of extra distance so that we can explore a little bit more with the youngest uh, or even the oldest being able to get tired and being able to ride for a little bit. 
So with that, I also have a seat post mount for a trailer. And then I mounted a instep adapter to that. So that way, you know, I can also tow a trailer with the bike. So with the kids outgrowing the, the two place instep trailer, I ended up stripping it down to the frame and I added a Home Depot Husky box to it. Now there's a, there's a handle here. So that way it's, you know, when it's not connected to the bike, it's, it's super easy to move that retracts in inside here. There is a basket for like a, almost like a toolbox, but you remove that basket and you have a ton of room, whether it's chairs or camping gear, whatever you want. I ended up putting some drain plugs in the bottom in case I wanted to use it as a big cooler too. Uh, so when I have this hooked to the bike, it's a little bit over 11 feet long and I wanted to be sure to keep safety in mind. So I added some LED lights, made sure they flash and they actually flash all around the entire trailer. With the bike and the trailer being black, you know, I wanted to make sure that we were highly visible. Overall, I mean, this is, this is what I've accessorized so far. I mean, it, again, I am super excited that I was able to fit a spare battery right there. So again, take the speed controller, mount it on the underside of that same bracket, and then it goes in upside down. Once you get in that crevice, flip it over and it fits perfectly right there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Maybe it gives you some ideas on how to accessorize your red wagon for, and that is it. Take care.